All right. Well, now's the time where we uh, start talking about our usual fucking gang of idiocy here. So, uh, sports. I like sports. You like sports. Let's talk about we sports. like sports. There we go. Let's put the <laughs> microphone at us instead of at the TV. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> um, you're Texas. Lost to Oregon, huh? Mm-hmm. Was it 30-7? to 7? It was. It was 30-7. to 7. I'm going to point out that I called, what was it, 27-7? to 7? You said 23-7. to 23-7. You were one touchdown off. Oh, man. But really, I would have not even have given Texas 27 points. Like, I just, I did not have any faith in that last game. Mac Brown was leaving. You're not giving them seven points against Oregon's awful defense. Well, I'm just saying because there's no heart left. Like, Mac Brown had nothing left to coach for. He was done. The fucking team knew that they're done. They have nothing really to play for except for pride, and they haven't had a lot of pride there in fucking Texas for a while, so. It's because of Texas. I wouldn't have any pride if I was from Texas. Fuck you, Texas. Go Trojans. In your fucking face. So we know what happened the last time the Texans and Trojans got together. Yeah, uh... Shout out to all those awesome Bears fans for sticking with Jay through the hard times. No, oh, yeah, all the hard times. You guys are so loyal. I'm glad you guys have an awesome quarterback situation. Yeah, I was against that from the whole start. I was. I wanted to see Josh play the rest of the way through because he had the hot hand. Yeah, you're and putting, he, you're putting a guy who hasn't played for six, seven games, rusty as hell, and he had thirteen to six, no, thirteen to seven touchdown to interception ratio before he got hurt. When Josh. Had ten, I I want to say it was ten to one. Yeah, and, he, you're t- and you're telling me he led the league in quarterback up. rating this year. Yeah, yeah, he had the top quarterback rating. Now you can fucking look up and say, oh, Josh was playing against the worst defenses, and Jay played against the good ones. He played against Green Bay's twenty fifth ranked. I yeah, say. and Jay Cutler ranked. also played against the Eagles like fucking twenty eighth ranked defense yeah, and got two fucking in a row. lit up. And he he managed like what. 30 points in two games, which by today's NFL is not good. Yeah. Not good enough to win when the Eagles drop 55 on you or some shit. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Choke artist, I say. Yep. I just don't I just don't trust Jay Cutler's heart or his chin, so. His chin is. Non-existent? Non-existent. He's pretty scary. But his girlfriend or wife or whatever, she's pretty hot. Yeah, Christina Cav- Cavallari or whatever. Cavallari. Cavallari, yeah. I'd, 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 give her, I'd give her the rod. But then again, as you guys are going to learn, there's not many I wouldn't. So if any of you want it, come get it. That's all I'm saying. You don't got a golden rod. I got the master rod, though. Yeah, you got the magic stick. You can hit it once, you can hit it three times. Yep. Oh, yeah. It, it's great. That's what I've heard. I've heard that, too. I've seen the text. I've seen, I've seen the text. <laughs> so uh, what are your feelings on waking up in the middle of the night to random pictures of vaginas on your Facebook? I wouldn't say that's a bad thing. Now, are they are they that good good or are they just eh? They're meh. I still like it. They're meh. I don't. Know, I'm not really a big fan. She kind of has an ugly looking vagina. Uh, but yeah, is it clean looking? Mm, it's all right, I guess. I don't know. Not, I'll send it. I'll, I'll show you not, later. Not, en- not enough taken care of. You can just show me now on the podcast, and I can. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't. It to my I don't have it though. Like on my no. phone. No. You, you have Facebook on your phone. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't have show it. Show it to me. Like I, right now. I constantly archive don't, my shit. Don't do this to me. <laughs> You're don't hurting me. It. You're hurting me. <laughs> oh man, that's... show me that good, good, and I'll give you a thumbs up or thumbs this down. This is gonna be a thumbs down situation. Oh man, You're calling it a thumbs down? I'm calling it a thumbs down, bro. Oh my god, it's loading. It's loading. I'm. Lo- oh my god, I'm loading too. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking at pornography while shooting a podcast. It happens. Deal with it. I dealt with it once before. It's the good, good. Nope. Yep, that's what I said. Nope. Uh, thumbs down. Thumbs down on that one. She doesn't have a clean one. Whoa. But that's why she didn't get the deed delivered to her today. That's why instead of doing that, I started Here talking you to you this morning. How about that? You know how I, f- I like how I'm blatantly peering at the other corner. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's also kind of weird at the same time. She has a picture of herself on the back of her phone. Eh, I guess if you're that popular. It's all right. Well, she just doesn't look proportionate because she's so short. Speaking of uh, fucking music, has, I guess. I, I don't know if I would want to put it in through that, even though there's a zipper there, because that doesn't look mm, very. Mm. Uh, you don't want to ever stick your dick through a zipper. 
Like, even when I pee, I'm like, I still whip it out over the top just because I'm terrified that those metal teeth are going to come out. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying you put your pee pee over the top of your pants and not through the fucking. No, I unzip it and I unbutton it and, like, open it wide. I don't ever just unzip oh. and pull out. Okay. Because I don't. Unzip. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm confused now. Whatever. Like, you can leave the button buttoned. Oh, you unbutton the button? Yeah. Oh. I, I, I don't just unzip and reach wait, in. Wait, wait, wait. You, un- you unbutton your pants? Yeah. Oh, I don't do that. I just unzip. Man, you're braver than me. I'm always scared that it's going to happen, though. Yeah, I know. That, that's why I unbutton it. You should try it. it like, it's liberating. You'd be it like, oh. It takes a lot of pressure off that area. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, my God, I'm not even worried anymore. I don't feel like my dick is going to be eaten by a fucking robot. Sometimes I just drop it on top of the urinal. Like my dick. I wouldn't. <laughs> and just sprays all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Splash back, like, all over the place. <laughs> Do you ever try to write your name in the urinal while you're standing there, being? My name's really I, long. I do it all the time. Like, I try to write my name. I have terrible penmanship anyway. You have terrible penisship. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Hater. Hater's gonna hate. How do you feel about your uh, Eagles, though? I feel pretty confident, man. I really do. We, we, we got the Saints at home, right? Yeah, and they got the Saints at home. And I think... That's, that's a good matchup. It's a good matchup, but... In the weather for the Saints... It's not good for them. Yeah. I just, uh, I don't want to get too excited about it because they're a up and down, like crazy team, up and down. But, like, even just them making the playoffs, I'd call this season a success because, like, I Nine really. 7 or 10 6? 10 and 6. 10 and 6. That's good a year. Yeah. It's good for a first year head coach. Especially because I, I still, I don't know if I'm sold on the system, you know? Like, I, I, I'm glad that Shady had his best year. I'm glad that he led the league in rushing and all that stuff. But I'm just still nervous because the defense has not made the strides that I wanted it to. But they did come up big when they had to. I think we have a very opportunistic defense. I even had to ask you how you feel about your Broncos. Uh, yeah, my Broncos. Um, Obviously, with Peyton Manning setting fucking every important cu- quarterback record this year. Yards, touchdowns. Uh, Laser rocket like, arms. Come, come at me, bro, basically for the records. Come yep. at me, bro. So, did you hear that they were trying to dispute his record, though, for yards? Yeah, it was because of a lateral, they yeah. said, and they... Yeah, they gave it to him? Yeah, they uh, let him have the record, which is cool yep. for me. So, Peyton Manning, surefire Hall of Famer. Yeah. I think he's been that even before he went to Denver, though. Yeah, so. he was that before he went to Denver. But I think another ring. He's got to get another ring, though, because... You have to get a, he has to get the ring to be considered one of the best of all time. Well, also because, like, if you retire and at the end of your career your fucking brother is Eli Manning and he'd be like, I got more rings than you. Yeah. Like, I has downs. A downs as your quarterback has... See, that's why, though, man, because he he gets more than four downs a game. Yeah. That's... (laughs) I don't know. Uh, The real question is, can we actually win a game in the cold in the playoffs? Two... Two I know. games in the cold with Payne May. I know. It's, it's almost like you guys shot yourself in the foot by getting home field advantage. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. But then the Patriots would have got it as yeah. well. And Kansas City. There wasn't a dome team near the top. No. Dome! Yeah. <laughs> which do which, which you prefer, brain or dome? Uh, brain makes it sound really gross. So you're a dome man. Yeah. Strict to the dome. But I, I guess it doesn't even matter because girls around here just don't do that. Yeah, we do. And if they do, they don't do it well. Yeah. They, they They're ma- scared. They make me nervous. I, I'm pretty sure this one girl is scared of me, like, to do it with me. I know, you told me. I dig she's it. She's, like, scared of the D. And even her, even her, like, really close friend thinks she's scared of my D, too. And I'm like, I'll turn her straight. At least I'll try to. Yep. And if not, then still so you hit it and I you gave it a shot. It. You gave yeah. it a fucking, the old college try. That's all you gotta do. You gotta experiment, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that's really all these the sports stuff I really care about. Like, I mean, I'm a Rockets fan and you're a Spurs fan, but it's no, it doesn't really matter till the postseason. Yeah, exactly. As long as your team makes it to the postseason, that's the only time it matters. The NBA is the only. That's it. What about your fucking uh, your Dukies, man? How about them Blue Devils? Because my Longhorns ain't doing shit. We're good, like we always are. But are you good enough to take the take it all? No. You think? Nope, not currently. Anyway. Do you have any talented we, black players? Yes, we do. I don't we believe have it. the number four. Coach K doesn't recruit black players. Number three or four ranked best 
College freshman. I had number three or four ranked best black guy. <laughs> number four ranked best black guy. Why does he have to be a black guy? Why can't he just be a guy? No, I need, I need to know that Duke has black players. Two. They have two black freshmen starting. Why are you trying to say that they uh Grant Hill and Shane Battier? <laughs> they're pretty light black. Yeah. I don't know if they're real Shane black. Battier is not black. I don't know. He might be part black, but he's not all black. It's not dark enough. Basically. Yeah. So uh wrestling. Let's let's go let's talk a little bit Dude, wrestling. Wrestling is so bad anymore. I was watching some of the old promos. Compare now you can fucking argue that it's PG now and that's why they can't do a new promo. Oh, yeah. But People just aren't funny on the microphone anymore. I know. Like, there just isn't funny guys anymore. Everybody's like, feels like the same character. And and I can't stand how they make villains. Every bad guy is just a coward. Uh huh. It, it's there's nothing in between. Like, yeah, there's no such thing. It's just like a dude who's evil and badass. Like, they yeah. they all have to be like, I have to run away now. Yeah, it's like the Cobra only- retreat. <laughs> I think God, G.I. Joe's here to say this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what, what what do you think about this Daniel Bryan going to the Wyatt family shit? Just because he has a beard doesn't mean he has to be on their team. I think somewhere along the line, he pissed off Triple H behind the scenes enough that they're just fucking burying him. Like, they buried him in the Randy feud. He gets so many cheaters, even though he's getting buried. And he's just getting buried further and further. Now he's going to be with the Wyatts. Where are they going with that? I know. Is that mean? Is that mean they're gonna help him win the Royal Rumble? Maybe is he gonna? Then he, then he like it was a trick the whole time. Maybe like is he is he a heel now? Yeah. Is he gonna be a bad guy? He he basically said when he talked to the mic, he's like, no matter how much the people cheered for him, it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. So and, is he turning on the fans now? And is, does that mean we're not gonna get as much yes 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 yeah. chance? Which, is, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I would be all right with that. Is, is this the end of Daniel Bryan's being as popular as he is? Or is it going to be like a CM Punk situation where they just love him regardless? Uh, maybe they're trying to see if that if, if he can be that guy, where they love him regardless. Of what but I just don't think that Daniel Bryan has a good character to be a heel. He's not even a really good face. He's just like a guy. Yeah. His, his character is, I'm just the dude that... Gives it my all. That's my character. Yeah, and like you, you I guess you could be evil. Don't they already have that though with Cena? That's Cena's gimmick. He's like, I, I give everything I got for the fans and all well, stuff. That's kind of that used gimmick. to also be Xbox gimmick if you remember. Xbox had a gimmick. I thought he just banged China. <laughs> that is his gimmick. He gave it his all. <laughs> he had one night in China. Everyone hates Xbox though. Do they? Yeah, he's not. I, he's not really well liked. Like in their circles. No, and talk about like in real life. Like they, they even have a term for it. Uh, it's called X Pac Heat, where really? like even when he was like a, a face and like everyone was supposed to like him, he still constantly got booed because no one just liked him. Wow, that and, sucks. Dude. And I don't know why, because he's like a pretty what, solid what wrestler. His, what about as the one, two, three kid? Did they like him then? I think they kind of did at first, but then like he it got annoying. That's why they teamed him up with Razor Ramon because Razor Ramon was really popular. Yeah. So, but hmm. I don't. I just don't get it. Like he's a decent wrestler. Like he doesn't really do anything to fucking make people. Piss. Question. Side note. Okay. Would or would you not bang China? No. Back then I would. But now, no. No, not because she's a porn star you wouldn't now? No, no, I'm just saying I just, she just looks like shit now. Oh, I haven't seen her recently. Yeah. Like, okay, old China then, I mean. Yeah, like back back in the day, I probably... When she, was, when she was the eighth wonder? Yeah, I'd probably give her the screws. All right. I mean, she's a little bit... She's, a, cut loose, she's a little bit loose. manly, but I'm a little bit gay, so mm-hmm. it's whatever, you know? I mean, I've seen her vagina. It does look like she has a tiny dick. Uh, but I have a tiny dick in real life, you, you so... You kind of got these feminine features where would you would you tuck your sack back? It would be an easy transition for her to come over to guys. I will just... With you tucking I'll your just, sack back. I'll put my dick in my sack and then, like, put it under my fat roll. Then you really will put you on your balls again. Uh-huh. It sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on, girl. But yeah, I just don't know what the what creative's doing right now. I guess that's like the, a common complaint between everybody. Like, cause it just seems yeah. like they don't know what to do with anybody. That that seems like all the conversations I have with pretty much everyone. And now Triple H presides over it, so you know everybody's gonna get hit with a fucking shovel as long as he's around. Exactly. Um, unless you're Cena, basically. And like that's a th- and that's another thing. Like I don't know if it's just because they're not doing stuff with characters that I like. Because they are giving Randy Orton a push and everything. If, just, you like, if you like Randy, uh, like 
some girls I know that I like wrestling. Mm-hmm. They fucking love Randy, but they also only probably like him because they think he's hot. Yeah. So. But like, if you like Randy Orton, then you you probably don't really care what creators doing right now. But like, they Randy Orton is the only person they're really doing anything good with. Yeah. Did you see what they did with the Big Show? Where uh, they made they, him dress as the New Year's baby. They dressed him as what the fuck? This guy had just main evented your last pay per view before TLC Survivor Series. And now you dress him up as a New Year's baby and just make him a complete joke? Where are they? What are they doing? Okay, how about Damian Sandow? They fucking had this epic match with fucking Cena. Then they put him into a few with Ziggler that he wins two out of three of, and not even convincingly. Then they have him get squashed as Bad Santa by Mark Henry. Mm-hmm. What? And then they have Mark Henry immediately get, get destroyed by, by fucking Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And it's like, what are you doing? And also, what's what are they doing with the Shield right now? I know that uh, they yeah. made they made they had that match with Punk, so they're they're, get, they're getting like, close to being broken. Yeah, up. It's, it's just a matter of when. So what do you do with the Shield then? Like, what do you do with those guys? What one of honestly, and as long as I can remember, probably one of the best groups of all time. Seriously, the Shield, one of the best groups of all time. Yeah, they they've been. I liked them better when the first couple months where they had them where like. You know, your good guy would win or whatever, and or he would be talking. Then all of a sudden, their music hits, and you're like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. Like, what? How's he gonna get out of this? Then they fucking beat his ass. You know. Yeah, they like, took oh away. They took away all of the of when CM Punk beat the entire Shield by himself. Yeah. Even though he kind of like. Yeah, no, like he he used tr- like intelligence and yeah, trickery and yeah. shit like that, but he still beat them all. Yeah. And that yeah, that makes it. The all the credibility is gone. Yeah, like. I like, mean, see, I love CM Punk. He's my guy. He's my see, favorite wrestler. But he, he's not a three. He he can't beat three people. Like <laughs> he's, he's not my favorite wrestler, but he's like one of my like top three right currently. Mm-hmm. Top three, not of all time. But like yeah, not of all him, time. But just yeah, currently. yeah, right now. But like him, him winning does absolutely nothing to his credibility. It can only hurt the Shield. Yeah, That's the exactly. only outcome that can happen. Yeah, because uh, Punk doesn't have like Punk is at his, he's reached his apex. He's never gonna go higher, you know. Like he's like he's already done what everything he's gonna do. That's I think that's why he's contemplating retirement. Cause like what else? There's no there's no good storylines left. For I, him. I honestly think he's gonna quit uh, when his contract's up, is because of how unfun like Triple H and Vince and Stephanie and like who's ever else running shit there has just made it so unfun to be there. It is is what I'm gathering. No, yeah. cause like cause when they had that champion thing. When uh, Randy and Cena, they brought up the past champions for that fucking match at TLC. Like, Punk was standing in the background and, like, laughing at Triple H and giving, like, all these, like, fucking stares at Triple H and, like, just mocking him. Because you can tell there's, obviously, the only reason Punk is there because he's such a big draw and he cannot stand Triple H at all. Yeah. And I I think that they don't want to lose him to TNA or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think if somehow TNA could steal... Punk, they might actually steal a bunch of viewers. Yeah, it would be because I mean he is popular. Like I mean, people love him, you know. But they would definitely get the Chicago audience. <laughs> yeah, Chicago. Uh, from a couple of people were talking about like some of the best live crowds for like Raws and stuff. Chicago uh, was in the top three of best live crowds. Yeah, Midwest loves loves fucking wrestling. Yeah. I mean, because we're especially of, bad guys. Yeah, this is a bad guy territory. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look, look, look at our last three mayors, like our yeah. governors. I mean, like, well, I, don't, I don't really know about that having any bearing. Yeah, on I know, that. but I'm just saying, like, we we kind of root for the bad guy around here. Like, we end up like putting them in charge and shit, you know, around here. Yeah. Like, and, and I think it's like subconscious. Like, we just don't even realize it. Yeah. Like all the all the like fucking local sports people, all those local celebrities, Al Capone, evil, fucking Michael Jordan kind of fucking dick you know what I mean like he's like a competitive right. asshole yeah people don't like Michael Jordan like I like Michael Jordan I do too but we like bad guys and especially us we both like bad guys Who, favorite Transformer Starscream Starscream <laughs> he wasn't the typical bad guy though yeah, I know but he's still a bad guy that's what I'm saying like we like I think it's just like the consensus around here that we just like bad guys who's the best Batman villain my favorite is the Joker. Okay, yeah, Joker. Yeah, but I mean, I think that's like kind of that's his arch nemesis. He's, he's, he's better than Batman. Yeah, I think. I think they're the same character, just different spectrums of the coin. Yeah, exactly. Like, the coin. yeah, I mean, the, Batman is fucking obviously crazy too. Like, yeah, a guy fucking dresses up in a fucking mask and cape and goes on and fights criminals. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he's crazy. He's lost his shit. And plus, he's got this like staunch thing where he won't kill anybody. But him not killing uh, these villains allows them to commit more crimes and kill more people. So like, if he would just he's contributing to the suffering of others, exactly by not just because he has this code, because he's like, I don't want to be like that. Because he thinks he's better than everybody. And that he's narcissistic. Exactly. So Batman's just Batman's a big part of the problem as anybody. And I guess that w- that makes sense too, because like Gotham is kind of based on Chicago. So if we just killed ba- the Batman, it would be all over. It's simple. You kill the Batman. <laughs> I like the finer things in life. Wait, I like cheap things. I do. Gasoline. Yep. Hey, burns. Yeah, burns his part of the money. I'm gonna burn my half of the money. Yeah, but I don't know. The creative is just ridiculously terrible right now. What? Like, what happened to other guys? Like, uh, Zack Ryder. He was really like. I don't, yeah, he was. I don't want to say he was really popular, but he was over enough where he could be like a decent mid card guy. Dude, my my big complaint. Huge complaint right now is what the fuck are they doing with Dolph Ziggler? Has Dolph Ziggler won a match in six months? <laughs> okay. What? Okay. Right after Mania, your first show, you have the crowd going insane. Ziggler comes out. Everybody's like, oh my God, finally, yes. Everybody's going crazy for Ziggler and loving it. Loving it. He wins the belt. Uh, accidentally gets injured by Swagger. Uh, so... Yeah, he's out, he's hung up. So I go. So they have payback in Chicago. I I was at that live pay per view, uh, and they do a double turn where the show off becomes a good guy, doesn't show off anymore, and uh, Del Rio goes back to being heel. And since then, he lost that match. Barry, 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 Barry. I know he had to have done something in Some, real life. Somewhere, yeah, in real life, he had he to piss off up. somebody because. He, he went from being the world heavyweight champion to fucking getting jobbed as Sandow. Yep. And Sandow has been getting jobbed his whole entire career so far. Mm-hmm. So, what did Ziggler do? I don't know, man. I just don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I really, I can't think of anything that he, he could have done. He had to have done something extreme to really piss those guys off. My, like somebody somewhere yeah, in that company because he was a rising star he's a talented wrestler he's fun to watch he, he was so over my man mm-hmm. it seems like every time they get a guy who's really over they just want to instantly bury them to show them that like they're not as big as they think they are well, so they, they just fucking bury them yeah they have guys that they want constantly to be over like Randy Orton is one of those guys Batista's yeah. gonna be one of those guys when Batista's he comes gonna back. be so over when he comes back yeah and like, uh, the same thing with, like, fucking Lesnar, dude. Like, Here's a question. Uh, supposedly, Batista's going to be back for two years when he comes back. Yeah. Like, He's, this is his last run, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been reading. How quickly does he win the championship and just becomes really over for a while? I don't know, man. And, just, and they just basically hand him the belt again because he's... One of those Vince McMahon big buff guys. Yeah, and and plus he's, like, personal... Like, in real life, he's, like, really close friends with Triple H. Like, Is he? Yeah. Just like Sheamus is. Yeah, Sheamus, Randy Orton really is. Uh, Michaels, Kevin Nash. Yeah, all the all those guys are always gonna be near the top. Yeah, because they're all buddies, like in real life. Then you got like Cena. Cena's just a company man, like. Because Vince loves Cena, so. Exactly, Vince fucking. And, and, and actually, honestly, Cena is the biggest star, two times bigger than anybody else in the company. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, makes it, makes them more money than anybody else. He can't yeah, do it, no wrong. And and like it, it doesn't matter if you love him or you hate him. Like the fact that you talk, like everyone talks about him. Everyone yeah. has an opinion about Cena. Yeah, that's that's part of making it. If if you're that big, where people either love you or hate you, you know you're big time. But I will give him credit since he came back from his injury. He's been wrestling pretty good matches here lately. I liked when he did that Hurricanrana. Yeah, the, like he's he's a, when, he, when he did the Hurricanrana punk. That was like holy shit. So he's, I, didn't, I didn't see that coming. He he's definitely. I think he's like responding to the uh, internet community. Starting to do a little bit more moves. Mm-hmm. But you really can't complain about the five moves to do or whatever because that's like a staple of WWE. Everybody, everybody, everybody has their own signatures and finishers yeah. and moves that they always do every match. Exactly. Now, yeah. now you can say the same thing about Daniel Bryan. I've watched Daniel Bryan steal fight all in- of fucking Chris Benoit's moves. Yeah. <laughs> well, punk, punk started doing fucking Macho Man's oh, yeah. all the time. I know. He stole all Macho Man's moves. Yeah. They call it homage or whatever, but yeah. they're, they're blatantly just doing yeah. those moves. Like, I've, I've watched... every When Daniel Bryan was super over, I watched match after match of him do the same fucking moves in the same sequence over and over, and I 
fucking couldn't stand it anymore. Yeah, I know. He's so popular, but I'm like, dude, this guy is so fucking boring. I, I have no fucking... But that's what the that's uh, what the WWE calls the main event style. It's like their their style of wrestling. Yeah, I mean that's why WWE was different than WCW back in the day because WCW had like the old school wrestling style and WWE had the fucking main event yeah. style. Like I mean, even the Austin and the Rock. Like I'm not saying you shouldn't do like have yeah I, that you do every match. Yeah, but it just seems like they flow exactly the same every time. And there are so many other moves that you could do that no one ever does anymore. Like. I think it's because, honestly, they think people are going to get hurt and they don't want to get Well, I mean, like, I never see hip tosses anymore. Never see, like, just some fucking regular-ass scoop slams. Suplexes, barely. Unless, like, that's your fucking character that you do suplexes. Yeah. Like, drop kicks? How long has it been since you've seen a fucking dude who's, like, good at drop kicks? Yeah. I don't know. It just seems like everybody does the same moves anymore. They have a boner for fucking kicks now. Uh Uh-huh. Like, everybody kicks all the time. Like, nobody even really throws punches anymore. Yeah, no. It's like, kick, 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 well, kick, Well, because they're, they're trying to make it uh, more like MMA. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that's why there's, like, also more MMA-style submission holds and stuff. And when Brock came back, too, it was definitely... Like, I could see Brock doing that just because it makes sense for him just having came from... Yeah. Back from UFC. Makes sense. But, but these other guys, this is like... Yeah, but they're, but they're trying to compete more with that because, like, it is drawing away fans, but... MMA is drawing away fans from wrestling. Well, that's what they, that the fear was. Like that's that's ridiculous. If they if they're worried about MMA, well, because like they don't think that you can be a fan of both, but we clearly are. Like, yeah. Like I like I like real fighting and I like fucking fake fight because like yeah, real fighting is is exciting because it's story real. Storylines but... fucking matter, and mm-hmm. they've lost sight of that. Exactly. They had all these sweet potential fights they have could have done, may and maybe it's because of the PG they don't want to do it anymore. But that's why you have pay-per-views. You do that fucking crazy shit on the pay-per-views, mm-hmm. not the regular shows anymore. And maybe they just don't want to do it, period. Because they hardly ever show preview or like uh, snippets of what happened last at the pay-per-view really anymore either. So if you want to do that crazy shit, go ahead, because you're not showing it on the fucking live cast anyway. Exactly. And they're, they're never, ever going to go back to the non-PG shit. I mean, we got to just accept that, because they make way too much money now. See, I don't. I don't know if it's that they make more than they did in the Ryer. Well, they didn't, but like, uh, but th- there's no one, there's no one to carry it like there was back then. Like, I don't understand why they tried to alienate all the older audience to have actually have the money. Well, I know, but you got to like, it? you got it. Kind of comes in cycles, I guess. Like, because like all of uh, all through us growing up, like, was the golden age is what it's called. Like from the fucking. I thought the golden age was before that. Well, well the I mean, golden that, age is like Hogan and shit. Yeah, that's when we were growing up. Okay. I didn't see. I didn't watch it till uh, Attitude. Oh, okay, so, but yeah, okay. When I guess when I was growing up and watching it, like that was the golden age, and it was like steadily climbing up towards, yeah, the Attitude Era. But then when the Attitude Era happened, it was like the perfect storm because they had characters and people who could carry it. They don't yeah. have anyone like that now. There's no Austin anymore. Austin was like a once in a lifetime guy. Is, is it that they don't have those guys, or they don't want to? create them or allow guys to be them anymore well I don't know because like a lot like that stuff like was off the cuff off the top of their heads The Rock and Austin were like fucking magic on the mic but I know there's gotta be multiple people in the world can fucking do that shit there's comedians that do that shit yeah, so no, you're but, telling me there's not yeah but other guy. comedians that can be a pro wrestler you know uh, like what, you're pretty good at being off the top of your head guy why couldn't you do that let's say Let's say, why couldn't they just develop you into a wrestler if you wanted to be one? Because well, be- you could do shit off the top of your head really good. Yeah, I know, but, like, they're not... There's just not that guy anymore. Like, because, like, if it, is, is if it, it was that just it, that easy to do, though, there would have been more than just that throughout the time. Is it is it not that... Or do they just want specific guys, and the guys that specifically they want, body type-wise, can't do that? Well, maybe that, but I'm just saying, like, in every era of wrestling... It's always like the one huge guy, like okay. Hulk Hogan. Sure, fucking. But that's uh, just because they want it that way. Yeah, I know. But like, other people could have tried to rise up to that, but they just don't get over it for some reason. I, I think it's because just because they don't get as much help from like, because even like Ultimate Warrior was designed to be like the fucking. He was like super buff guy, fucking intense all the time. Everyone should have fucking loved that guy. But he never really got over like they wanted him to. I mean, he, he started to a little bit, but then he fell off. He, I, I think his problem was, like, he didn't get over with kids as much. I mean, kids are like, I have no idea what the hell he's talking about, but yay! <laughs> randomly yelling, but I don't know. 
I just think like, like every, okay, here's one. I know you don't like him, but Ryback. When Ryback first came out, the crowd was cheering, "Feed me more," and like everybody fucking loved it. Then all of a sudden, they flipped him to a good guy and buried him. Yeah, well, he's now not, it didn't help him losing every fucking pay per view in a row. And that, and also that, like that buried him. Like, that, that's what killed him. I don't think his personality at like when they, when they kind of like let him off on his own, like that's when he started to be shitty because he he doesn't have enough to carry himself. Yeah. But like I said, like Austin, when he fucking blew up, it was like the perfect storm. Like he just fucking, everything he said was like comedy gold. Him and The Rock were like, everything they say you can buy on a t-shirt today. Yeah. Like every fucking sentence they uttered in their entire fucking yeah. wrestling, you can buy it on a shirt. Like it was just perfect. And they don't have anyone like that I now. can't honestly believe that nobody is, not, not one guy is not creative enough. To well, I mean, like that. I said, like I love CM Punk's promos and stuff. But none of his stuff will resonate with the crowd. All his stuff is just fuck the authority. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, he just hates the authority so much. Like, it doesn't resonate with the crowd. It's not, like, it's just not at, like how it was with Austin and The Rock. And even, like, a guy who, as legendary as The Undertaker, like, what, what is something that he fucking has ever said that, like, you still remember to this day that, like, sticks with you? Rest in peace? That used to be his catchphrase. That's yeah. it, though. I mean, that's it. Yeah, I- Undertaker. Oh, oh, also, he used to talk about taking people to the learning tree a lot. That was kind of weird. What? Yeah, he used to tell The Rock that he was going to take him to the learning tree. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but he used to say that. Or Mankind. Yeah. Fucking, I love Mankind, but he never cut any, like... And he was hilarious. Fucking Sako and all that stuff. And he's really smart, like, off the top of his head. Like, Mick Foley is fucking really smart. But even him, like, it just has to be the perfect storm of... Dude who fucking looks the part and is acts the part. Yeah. And they just don't have that. Or and like you said, or if they do, they just don't let them get over. Well, Cena is as close as they have right now. Yep. <laughs> I think he took a shit in his pants. <laughs> And like I said, I love Punk, and I think he cuts really good promos, and I like watching him and everything like that, but he's not that guy either. Like, he's not, he, nothing he says is, is going to end up on all those fucking t-shirts. He's not ever going to be that guy. I agree with you. Like, everyone, everyone's going to have their catchphrases, like, The Miz, I'm awesome, and uh, fucking yeah. Dolph Ziggler, like, looked at, and, you know, and fucking Punk with his best in the world and all that shit, and yeah. Brian, no, 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 all that shit. But... That's as good as it's going to get. I agree. So, yeah, that, that about wraps it up for, uh, for... For wrestling, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was thinking the first episode. Well, we still we got... We, we, still, we still got to cover video games. I know, but we've been going for a while, dude. Well, yeah, because we, we're both passionate about wrestling. 30 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess uh, you're right. It's not... Okay. Um, the music. Have you played? Yeah, no. Huh? No, no, because no, that's the microphone. Can I flip? No, I mean, can this flip over? No. Oh. This is a shitty fucking you camera. But, uh, video games. I haven't really played anything new, uh, here lately. I'm not a big gamer, but I do like video games. You are gay. We've been playing a lot of, uh, this wrestling game. Uh, WWE but, 14, which is very depressing, yeah, it's, you motherfuckers. It's you super buggy. Last year's was a lot better. Last year's was cleaner and had more fucking effects. Uh, I shouldn't say that, but uh, this year, you guys dropped the ball. Yeah, so the gameplay wise, it's, it's still it's fun. Exactly the fucking yeah, no, game. it's still fun. Like it's a good, it's a good formula you have, and I love the creative wrestler mode and shit like that. Just need to do more stuff with the storylines. And uh, oh yeah, you can probably give them some dog ears, huh? There's some rabbit ears. Sometimes Ren's ears are straight up. Yeah. I don't know what. What were you saying? You said they need to do more, more with uh, fucking storylines, and uh, they need to fix the bugs. Like the bugs are really bad in this game. <laughs> you can make cock rock. Remember cock rock? That band. Yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> bugs. <laughs> yeah, they sound kind of like Ministry, which is awesome. And also, that fucking that fucking sick puppy stole that bass line. <laughs> I fucking hate sick puppies, dude. It's never gonna change. Really? How do you like them? No, I don't like them. I gotta find a mask. Uh. 
This is some cat ears for Stimpy. Give him the dog ears. I'm trying to find a mask. <laughs> Cody Rhodes. Okay, what about music? Well, you got you got any uh, new fucking tracks that you've been listening to that are uh, the new hotness right now? Because I haven't. Everything I like, you don't. I don't know why I not, suggest music to you. Not everything. Does like, it have piano in it? Yes. Yes. Then okay, I like it. So you like the fucking transplants? No. Woo woo! I don't know. Yeah, I haven't really heard anything new that's like made me yeah. super excited. I know Dope's got the new CD coming out soon. It's in March, I believe. Yeah, I'm that's when started picture, posting a bunch of pics. Yeah, like old pictures. Yeah, bastard. What a turd burglar. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't really uh, fucking. Oh, did I tell you the chase is engaged? To Sarah? Yeah, finally. That's crazy. Really? I thought that dude was never going to get married, but he is engaged. Really? Mm hmm. Really, really? Really, really. I know. I was like, what were you thinking? And he's I like, can't find a fucking good mask. Well, that one. That one? Let me see. What are we trying to go for? It doesn't fucking look right. Bring it up! I can't find a fucking. Bring mask. it up! <laughs> I'm going to fucking put my dick on your forehead. Again? <laughs> So we just need a mask. With it covers his face, so we can put. Well, don't they have like a robber mask? Like that? No, like a like a ski mask. I'm pretty sure they do. I just don't know where. Football helmet. There's no ski mask. A <laughs> football helmet for some reason. A bag. <laughs> That's you. That's for you. You need a halo. Yeah, I sure need it. Dude, they gotta have a like fucking this? no, like a fucking ski mask. What are you doing? Like There's an actual no ski mask. It's a hockey mask. I know. I need to cover his ears. What? what you... so, I can, so you can give him that, basically. Well, there isn't one. Dude. I know, but like, there's got to be a ski mask. I think because you can make it. That's as close as I can get, dude. I think what you should do is shut Punch the fuck your up. Fucking face. Hey, shut the fuck <laughs> up. I'm um, trying, man. No, you're not. What we need to do. Horns? Yes! Trojans! He's horny. Does that mean you're horny? I can't believe he said that. He's a fucking moron. Maybe I shouldn't have smoked so much weed. Eh. Yeah. Look at wrestling masks. Go to wrestling masks. Don't tell me how Dude, to... I'm telling you, it's gonna be in wrestling masks. Fuck you, dude. That's a suit hat. You should get that. <laughs> I should. But, okay, so no, no real, nothing really new on the music front. Um. Like that? No, there's probably other better ones. Just all other faces. All of them are the same. That one? That one. That's pink. You can change his color. Why not this one? That's the same fucking one. Well, keep going. There might be, there's 33. You just keep stopping. You're like, nope. <laughs> no, he doesn't have eyes. <laughs> I think that one. Yeah, but he his mouth is covered. Or like there's the strap. His nose is supposed to be covered. Oh. So the ones near the top are actually right, then you dick. Why don't you fucking suck my Jensen? <laughs> Present it. <laughs> Present them. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Like what? That? What? I think this is it. Dude, dude, he's got two different eye shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it matter? Because. <laughs> or this? There. That actually might be the one. It's the one. You motherfucker. Remember, it's 32 at 33 because Stimpy's going to have a similar mask. You remember. All right. Uh, what about the ladies? Any any uh, news on the ladies? We won't use any no, real you names. Go. You go. Because you were just saying about that one girl. You told me about yesterday, Wednesday to Monday. Oh. Yeah. That was all right. It was a pretty fun time. No, not the one you banged. Oh. The other one. The one who sent me the picture? What picture? Of the nasty vagina. Oh. No, I didn't mean that one either. I meant the other one. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> the one I work with? You banged her. No. Ew, no. Yeah, you did. But, uh, does he have gloves? No, he has black boots. Give him the fucking ears! Those are horns. <laughs> But yeah, like I decided to give up on uh, trying to 
convince myself that there is any good left in women in the world. Uh, uh, I'm sure there is. I just haven't met them. What are you doing? Trying to hide the ears, you fucking asshole. Was it in hats or accessories? I don't know. I just don't know. That's ridiculous <laughs> mask. He looks like he's a fucking like, S&M guy. I dig it. You would. Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't know how to do your phone. Fuck your phone. Hmm. I'll fix that. Well, what about you? Any any lady f- on the lady front? Any news? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that, I think that's gonna wrap up today's fucking sweet ass podcast. Uh, we'll uh try to have more. Say goodbye, everybody. More cool stuff to talk about next time. Uh, Cause I think it's gonna I be. I feel like I'm Tom Brady just high fiving myself when I just said that. I think it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna be at, on location next time, aren't we, with our guest for the playoffs? Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll be somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna fucking figure something out. But uh, you guys stay awesome and uh, let us know about any kind of fucking awkward shit that you guys have done in, in a, public. In, inappropriate things you've done in public. Yep. Ladies and gents. Yeah, we don't care. We just want to know. We want to hear all the stories of your guys' debauchery. You don't have to use names. You. You can even have to use your name. Yeah, you can actually do a better job at changing people's names than we do. <laughs> yeah, we're not that good at doing that. But I don't even change your names. Yeah, you don't. Or well, you just add an extra letter at the end. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, Brogan, and uh, that's fucking my hetero life mate Keith, and we're Yo. signing off. I love up. all of you. Goodbye. He, he does. He would lick your butt. No, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, he doesn't lick oh, butts. Yeah. He would All tag right. me in to lick butts. All right. I'll lick your butts. And scene.